Hello and happy Friday. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Fridays with Brandon. And today on Fluke Friday, episode number 90, can you believe it? 90. We are going to talk about a new firmware update that just came out for the II910 and the II900 from Fluke, the uh, Sonic Imagers, and what it brings to you and some things that uh, customers have been asking for that Fluke has been able to answer. And I think it's going to be pretty click cool. So we're not only going to go over the firmware, but also once you set up the firmware or once you get the firmware in your unit, how do you want to set up your tool and get your settings right for your environment, where you are, and to make it work well. So let's jump into it. Okay, so here's a preview of the firmware and what you're going to get once you have it on there. And then we'll change the settings here in a second. So you can see up here along the top that we're in a leak queue mode. So that's going to estimate how much your leak is costing you and how much airflow you have for that leak. So if we look up here at the top, now we have the leak queue scale displayed on the screen, the leak rate, the amount it's going to cost, and the distance from your unit. Now, I live in the U.S., so all of these settings, this, this particular tool gets made in Europe, so all these settings are useless to me. So let's start changing these settings um, to get them the right way. Oh, and I guess before I say that, how do you get the firmware? I'm going to try to put a link maybe up here, or I don't know, wherever I think about it, maybe in the description below, of another video where I show you how to update the firmware. There's two ways to update the firmware. One is you can uh, connect it to Fluke Connect desktop and download the firmware that way. The other is you can download the firmware file and just put it in the main drive on your computer. You connect this to your computer through the USB port, drop it in the folder, and then on the screen it'll just say update firmware. I prefer the second method, but you can do either. I'll have both those videos in the link below or in this up here. Okay, let's get into settings. I'm gonna delete this. So first thing you're gonna do, whoa, sorry, hit the camera. Um, the first thing you're gonna do is tap the screen, go into settings, and localization and instead of metric we don't want meters we want inches and feet we'll click that and then we go to operation conditions and currency we can see currency we don't want at least i don't want euros i want us dollars so i'm going to u s d if you're in mexico or wherever you can do pesos or whatever you want um, whatever the PSI is that your plant runs at normally. So let's say 90. Um, if you have gas and you want to put the cost of gas, sorry, this screen is very reflective so you can almost see me and my phone back there. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Sorry, nothing I can do on this black screen. Okay. Um, you can do that, type in how many hours of operation this leak is going, show the value, tell what things on the screen you want to see. And the last thing you want to do is tell it the, the frequency that your electricity operates on if you have an I-910 because of the partial discharge. So we do 60 hertz. Okay. And I think that's everything. So when we do that, Go back to here. Let's see if I can get this in the right spot. Ah, it's too close to the screen. I'll capture this. And you can see now we get the leak Q scale. CFM, so cubic feet per minute, you get US dollars per year that it's costing you and how far away the leak is. So you get all of this information. Instead of having to make the report, you can actually see it in the field. It's a pretty slick firmware update. I really like it. Um, and yeah, if you haven't ever updated your firmware, please do so. Either uh, do it yourself by watching a couple of my videos or reach out to your local Fluke rep. They're happy to try to walk you through that. And yeah, you can see all your stuff on the screen. I hope this was helpful. Um, and 
stay tuned because there is more firmware coming out, especially if you get the i910. I think there's some future capability that's coming out later this year that I can't talk about yet, but it is going to be pretty slick on the mechanical side. So hope you had a great weekend or hope you do have a great weekend. Don't forget if you've watched more than three videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you like this. Take care.